I arrive in Munich by plane greeted by rainy weather. After a quick walk through the rain, I found myself at the famous Hofbräu house. <laughs> The lively sounds of traditional Bavarian music filled the air. The Oktoberfest vibe was in full swing. Something my friend says happens year-round. Of course, I couldn't resist having a beer followed by a hearty meal of Schweinsbraten and Schweinshaxe, served with traditional Kartoffelknödel and Semmelknödel. A delicious start to the trip. It was another rainy day, so hiking was off the table, but we decided to visit the residence, an incredible old castle with breathtaking architecture. After soaking in the history, we switched things up by heading to an Irish pub. There I enjoyed a pint of Strongbow cider and a classic burger with fries. A perfect way to end a rainy day. Next day I started with a typical Bavarian sandwich before catching a train to Chiemsee. There we hopped on a charming old train that felt like it wasn't much faster than walking. Then we took a boat to Herreninsel, where we explored King Ludwig II's castle. Unfortunately, filming wasn't allowed inside, but I did treat myself to a delicious Germknödel with vanilla sauce afterwards. Later, we headed to a Volksfest, which was like a mini Oktoberfest. There was live music, more beer in pins bigger than your head, and an impressive tray of food carried by the waiter with just one hand. I had curry sausage, fries and spätzle. Quite a feast. Then before leaving Munich, I had to try Leberkäse with Semmel. Funny thing, I accidentally ordered it with Brötchen, which is the same thing as Semmel. But the cashier didn't quite understand me, just a little language difference in Bavaria. After that, I headed back to the Netherlands where I was welcomed with a comforting hot pot. I was so happy to finally eat some vegetables again. <laughs> And that wraps up my Munich adventure. <laughs>